Redefined economy and candlestick game reserve. The new economy is Rice Star Church's coupling business that is within all business. As overview respecting others' purposes that do not regard personal relationships as priority, governing watchmen organizations, churches, can bid for individuals in competition to lead in a community in some beneficial way, most likely in a blind format to the individual. The organization's winning bid is split amongst the organizations who bid and Rise Star Church. The organization bid winner gets a chance for testimonies of success or salvation from the led individuals. These testimonies will be put on a Salvation Works website page along with the techniques used to accomplish them. This way organizations in governing beginnings can start learning as organizations compare different techniques. This also keeps organizations honest and accountable to how they are involved in people's lives and communities. These organizations may use the main coupling economy that is also for all by choice in a personal relations form called blind first date and a more competitive dating form called Betel battle. These forms are split into a gambling type bid for possible coupling called blind and a direct relational coupling called first. People in the blind category have no knowledge of a party's gambling bid for their possible matchmaking in a place called a pot. Like the blinds work, attended organizations or activities of life, an individual in the first category knowingly bids for a coupling relation it, or is the person that is bid for by others for their date. To be Rice Star Church authorized if a first is in competition with a blind for the same person, especially another blind, the first should act as a shield matchmaker, only working as secondary. An individual's picture is uploaded onto the Rise Star Church website page, blind first date, or authorized business partner priests. These are love offerings. Rise Star Church's main priest has set up in a revealed format of a public well where any independent business can start up with proper tithing to the church. As disclaimer, if not part of this religious offering, in some states these works would be considered illegal in an escort service category because one party receives money from the other for a relation. After the uploaded picture is then designated blind or first, anyone can start giving bids until a determined time. Then the party of the pictured blind or the first picks the person or people from the bid list for the pot interactions. According to contract after the bid or bids, they are then split between the first or party for the blind and Rise Star Church. Betel Battle with option of blind first date website page with Rise Star Church or authorized business works the same as blind first date, but the date, time, and pots locations are publicly known on the website for an added competitive Betel Battle. In fact, the blinds party or the first can choose only Betel Battle, thus not taking any bids for blind first dates. Betel Battle is where any number of people can buy any number of personal information statements about the uploaded individual and then they go find them wearing some form of green apparel at the time and places the pots 
are publicly designated to meet and talk to them about it. The coupling economy is in all business is funneled through the candlestick justice entertainment game reserve with sin crime offering purchase options. This is the new criminal justice system except to children and immature. It is the same for veiled eggshell till maturity. The candlestick game reserves focuses on the rise star veil, healing faux foreness, reflective judgment, to instill morals, still values, and hollow the flesh by rehabilitative offerings. Children and immature are generally game reserve blind to their coupling bids and candlestick testings, as well as natural rise star veil. Mature work in or purchase their sin crime offerings, coupling, chance, and possible American dream. Like the way temporary agencies work moving people around different job locations, all business businesses across America need to start becoming tied together for better veiled placement shuffling. For education, students in schools need regular funneled flow into game into game reserve without their noticing by regular periodical field trips, missions and other veilings. Rice Star Church just separate veiled television channeling entertainment of our cities downtown and other areas of surveillance for the green field and game reserve will be instituted and accessed on mobile devices throughout our nation. Rice Star Church's main participations in the game reserve is coupling design in all the candlestick sin offerings, the unconditional love offerings of the sin sex offerings, the working with children for natural rise star, and veil education. The unconditional love slash sex offerings are only legal according to rise star church constitutional writ around the main priest, James Michael Francis Lopes. The offerings involve sexual relations, or at least real talk, straight talk about possible sexual relations, possibly in public places in the area of the main priest. For people right after he leaves the people's areas, and for people right after they leave his area. This can be considered a Rise Star Church wedding, a healing, or a quarterly or yearly holy offering of themselves to test their conditions of love and declare hallowed freedoms. These public sex acts are physically veiled by Levites or Levitical priests who work as crowd control arranging human blocks around the offering altars, educate by word where needed, and deter outside of veiled children from viewing. It works the same as Beetle Battle with option of line first date after the individual's picture is uploaded on the Sin Offering website page of Rise Star Church or authorized business. Other than the bids picked or people who bought personal information statements are considered Levites, who based on the will of the one offering can become a secondary priest. Secondary priests have sexual relations at the altars. The individual offered could be a surprise blind for possible unconditional love offering test, could have one or multiple bids, had personal information statements sold, or a combination of any of the, of the three. The bin is the place God ordained. The time the main priest crossed paths with the people, therefore an unconditional love offering. According to Rise Star Church, authorization, if truly an unconditional love offering, no matter what bids or bought personal information statements, 
the evening love order is main priest James Lopes, second, third party people who follow the church for love, or blind to offering arrangements, and last in order, the Levites, who paid or deal within the arrangements of offerings. Those coming to Rice Star Church for unconditional love offerings that apply to the third party label have not had an offering within the last three months period of time quarterly.